Hi there, my name is Sherry DiMarino. I'm from Cape Charles, Virginia, and I'm represented by Hudson Talent Agency. I'm 5'6", I'm 50 years old, and I'm auditioning for the role of Susan Gilbert. What's that church mob? That was no mere mob. It was a militia. My deputy, Susan Gilbert. Militia? What's this about? Turning back the clock. The Southern Cross is more than a denomination. It's a raging emblem of a vast and savage empire that took its last bow. Its churches, cauldrons of hate over the end of its terrorist civilization. A barbaric land of cavaliers and cotton fields that, thank God, is gone with the wind. Emancipation cost the Old South power, pride, and four billion dollars in human flesh. They're rising up to take it back. Take what back? You. All across the South, the Sons of the Southern Cross are mobilizing to take the elections. To take back their slaves. That's impossible. The 13th Amendment abolishes slavery. Except for punishment for crime. I make you a criminal. I make you my slave. Even if they take back power, how do you criminalize a race of people? They arrest you for standing on the sidewalk for being the wrong color. Then condemn you to convict labor in their factories and mines. Under their laws, black men and boys will be snatched from the streets and tortured in boiler rooms and caves until their bodies break and then fed to the furnaces and replaced. Death camps. Slavery reinvented. Miss Gilbert, your reputation as Mr. Kraft's assassin precedes you. I'll expect your candor. They say the choir is a disgrace, an embarrassment to Fisk. That its director is a dangerous visionary, a blind stargazer, a huckster of lies and false hope. That the choir is a salve over guilt, over a lost love. And that you're a family of misfits, damned by nightmares, driven by far off dreams, singing about distant lives and lands to escape your own. And that it's all pathetic.